Hello, Nomads Kalbt, and this video is about how to open the mouth. And it's a second video. I made a other video uh, with a little a bit of a different workflow, but yeah, let's show this workflow. And so <clears throat> here, this is what you get. So a mouse with a, a layer and you can open it and you can remesh it. So it's also possible um, to voxel remesh like this. So because when you remesh in this position here, the mouth is closed. So, and we don't want this when we remesh. So you get something here like this and, okay, I hope you get it. So I start from the beginning. So I delete this mesh and I add the Mestella head. And so I validate uh, the eyes. Um, and I delete the layer. So, and now I voxel remesh the whole head. And uh, sorry, before I'm uh, using subdivision. So, yeah, I joined the two meshes and uh, I'm using multi resolution subdivision. So, and now I voxel remesh the whole thing. Maybe like this. So, and the next step is we need the mask tool. And so where's my radius here? And now mask the, the jaw. So this is uh, the mouth here and then like this. So I make the line a little bit bigger. And now I'm tapping, oops, I'm tapping inside the surface so everything is masked. And now here in the mask settings, here height is zero, no smoothness. So, and here fill, fill, so we split the mesh. So this here is, yeah, the jaw. So, and I'm using here solo view. So, and now press voxel. So you get this. So this we don't want. So here use the clay tool, a little bit bigger radius and clay, oops, not mid, sorry, sub was active. So, and clay here. Oh, don't look what you do, only clay a little bit. So like this and here in the operations menu, you can use a little bit of smoothing and a little bit inflate. So it looks like this and then press here voxel. So now it's much nicer. So it doesn't matter here. So we can smooth it a little bit, but it's okay. So this is here what we get. And this mesh here, you can here use a voxel remesh with no problem. And then here use the clay tool in sub, sub mode. And yeah just clay here a little bit. So this is the mouth cavity. So 
or oral cavity. So let's see how it looks. It's okay. So then select the jaw and add a layer. So and now with the move tool open the mouth a little bit. Only like this here. And check here the the mesh, the overlappings and yeah. And you can test your layer. This is the uh, the movement of the mouth. And yeah. It's okay. So then select both meshes and press voxel remesh. So again here voxel change the resolution and remesh. So you can switch back to the base layer. So when you close now the mouse, so here's the slider for the open mouse and the base layer here, you can select it and you can smooth the mesh. So a smoothing tool. So and now it's possible here when you use here the layer um, so you can quad remesh the whole thing takes a few seconds so and this is what you get so I think this is okay and here you can play now with a mouse okay so I go back uh, before the voxel remesh and the other thing here is um, you can use here the masking tool and mask here the, the lips So like this here, then only the inside is active and here in the mask you can convert the mask to a other face group. So you can now mask the inside. So there's a, a small problem here, but yeah, let's fix it here. And the radius is too big. So now you can use the height and hide this whole thing. And um, it's also possible to sculpt here on the inside um, of the whole thing. So here um, you can change also the, um, the hided mesh so you can see how it looks through the head mesh. So yeah, this is one workflow to open the mouth. Maybe you can eat it. Okay, that's it. Have fun with sculpting and ciao.